Hello. Today I want to start teaching of the book from the uh, Heinz Grischbach and Dora Schut. The name of the book is Deutsch Sprache für Ausländer for the Grundstuf. Okay, and it is one of the best books from the Max Heuber Verlag. Abschnitt 1, Lesson 1. Abschnitt is the lesson. Der Abschnitt. Die Abschnitte is the lesson. Guten Tag, ich bin Anton Brege. Good day. Hello, I am Anton Brege. Guten Tag is the common for the greeting. It is like good day, but normally in English we use the good morning, good afternoon, or good night, good evening, but in the Germany, more usually we can use from the good day. <laughs> tag is the name, in the name, it is a der Tag. And in the pro form is the de Tag, it is a day. Der Tag, the Tag, the day, the days. Ich bin Anton Brege. I, the meaning is I. And the bin am. I am Anton Brega. For example, if we want to use I am, ich bin, you are, du bist, he is, er ist, she is, the ist, it is, es ist. It is a single form, and in the plural form, we can have Wir sind We are Wir seid You are plural Sie sind They are And the Z with big, big S, Sie sind It is in the polite form, you are Mein Name ist Richard Robertson. Mein Name ist Richard Robertson. Mein Name ist Richard Robertson. Ich komme aus England und lerne hier Deutsch. Ich komme aus. Komme aus. Komme aus. I come from. I come from the England and uh, I learn here German. Mein Name ist Peter Carlis. My name is Peter Carles. Ich gehe auch hier in die Schule. I go also here in the school. Die Schule is school. Richard is my friend. Richard is my friend. Richard is my friend. Der Freund, die Freunde. Der Freund. The friend is friend. Ihr seid Freunde. You are friends. Lernt ihr oft zusammen? Do you learn often together? Zusammen is the meaning together. Ja, yeah. yes. Aber, but, bitte arbeite nicht viel. Bitte works uh, doesn't work so much feel is so much arbeit wenig he works a little ich sage immer sage is the say ich sage immer i say it always immer is always peter du bist faul peter you are lazy und ich bin fleißig und i am clever faul and Fleißig, fleißig, they are opposite uh, adjective. Ich bin faul und du bist fleißig. I am lazy and you are clever. Das falsch. It is mistake. Falsch is not true. Du lernst langsam, you learn slowly und ich lerne schnell and I learn Fastly. Wo ist denn die Lehrerin? 
wo is the meaning where where is then the lehrerin the lady teacher female teacher where is the female teacher you know in suffix in the name in the name is called the name for the female genitive gender kommt sie nicht doesn't she come nine no from maya kommt nicht Frau maya lady maya mrs maya doesn't come sie ist im bone she is im bone aber but dort kommt her mühle but der comes her mühle er ist der lehrer he is the teacher as you see here some important things here when we want to use the negative form in the germany we can use negative for the verb like here and also we can make a negative for the name with the kind kind we will study later richtig true ich bin der lehrer <coughs> i am the teacher und sie sind die schüler and you are the students der schüler die schüler students ich frage i ask und sie antworten and you answer wir lernen die sprache wir lernen the language wie üben die grammatisch we practice the grammatic the grammar und wir lernen die regeln and we learn the rules the regeln the rules wo ist das buch wer ist der buch herr robertson mr robertson hier ist das buch here is meaning here here is das buch der buch hier sind auch ein heft here is also a notebook ein füller ein roller pen and ein bleistift and a pencil richtig danke true and thanks the first page we start with one grammar with one conversation one story in the school it has some verbs and in the next parts we will learn in the detail the first part when we want when we make a name from the verb as you see fragen ask if we make a first letter of the frag and the beak and cancel the suffix of n we use it is then add the d prefix d article this will be name the frag and question fragen to ask the frag and question antworten we cancel en and we just use the root of the verb and vote with the big letter starting and we add a d in the first sometimes we can make a name from the name for example the schule is the school we can make it the schule the student the schülerin female st student also we can say this one when we change article for d and at the in in the end it will be female gender the lehrer is teacher the lehrerin teacher in the female the freund friend the freundin female friend it is the when we want to make a name from the um, 
from the male gender to female gender, we change D there for the D, and we add the in in the end. We have also opposite adjectives we saw today. Fleissisch is clever, foul is the lazy. They are opposite adjectives. Langsam, slow, schnell is the fast. Feel is so much, when you, a little, richtig, true, false, is wrong. But the most important part of the lecture, which is very important in the German language, the article. Every name has an article. We have three types of article. There, das, and the D. There is the for male or masculine gender. Das for the neutral and the D for the female. Okay? For example, and they are, they call bestimmt. Bestimmt. For example, we know about it. Okay? For example, the Lehre is the meaning of the teacher. But sometimes we have unbestimmt. We don't know about it. Okay? And in this case, for the masculine, and the neutral, we use ein, and for the female, we use ein. It's very important. For the bestimmt, we know about it. We use therefore, and das and b, and for the unbestimmt, we don't know about it. And we use ein, ein, and eine. And if you want to make a negative for the bestimmt, in this case, we use kein, kein, kein for the masculine, neutral, and the female. It's very important for the systems. If we know it, uh, we make a negative. We make a negative for the name in the unbestimmt. Because this team is the we know about it, is definitely we sure about that person. Um, bestimmt, we don't know about it, and uh, we don't uh, know anything about it. We don't know it is indefinite for us. And in the um, um uh, bestimmt, if we add a uh, kein, kein, keine, uh, this name will be negative. And for the bestimmt, in the plural form, all is the D. And the name can be, can change shape of the name. Or will be the same form of the... For example, the Lehre, the teacher. But in the plural form, it also will be the Lehre. Just we change the there to D. But das Heft is the notebook. Is the for the neutral. When we change it in the plural, it will be... The hefte, or for example, the regel, the rule. When we change it, the plural will be the regel again. Unbestimmt, because it is plural. Ein other meaning is the one, because in this case we cannot use one. Just we use form of the name in the plural form, and unbestimmt negative we use keine for all of them. No, in the first uh, übung, homework or practice, we can go there and the and thus. For example, if you see, Antwort, we made from the Antworten, it is name of the D. Okay? Bleistif and the, the plural will be the Antworten. Bleistif, it is a pencil. We, it is a with the der, it is a uh, male gender, and the suffix e. And das Buch, it is neutral, and the, the plural form will be Bücher. Frage, it, for, it forms from the Fragen, we use die. Die Frage and the, the plural form will be befragen. The Frau, it is the lady of Mrs. 
and in the end form the Frauen. Der Freund in the plural form will be the Freunde, it's friend. Die Freundin is the female friend and uh, when we want to make a plural we add an N E N. And the Fühle, it is a roller pen, we add there without any plural form. The hair, it is for being muscular, masculine, and the, the plural we accept EN. Das Heft, it is a notebook, and the suffix will be E, the Heft is the uh, notebook. Die Karte, it is a map or card. Accept N in the plural form, die Karte and in the maps. The continent will be the continent. It is a continent. Das Land is the country or will be the Länder. The Landkarte, it is a map. It will be the Landkarte, maps. The Lehre, teacher. The plural will be the Lehre. The Lehrerin female teacher and there will be the Lehrerinnen, female teachers. Their name, name and it will be the Namen. Die Regel will be the Regeln. Die Schule, is the school, will be the Schulen. Der Schule will be the Schule, is the student. Die Schülerin will be the Schülerinnen will be female students. Also, we can use unbestimmt article ein eine. The Bleistift is the masculine, is the ein Bleistift. Frau is the female, eine Frau. Ein Bleistift it is a, ein Pencil, one Pencil. Ein Frau is the uh, one uh, muscles or woman. Ein Schüler, ein Student, ein Student, ein Fühler, ein Rollerpen, ein Heft, ist äh, ein Notebook, eine Schülerin, es ist ein äh, Female Student, eine Landkarte, es ist eine Map, ein Kontinent, es ist ein Kontinent, ein Freund, es ist ein Freund, ein Herr, it is a master or man, a friend, a female friend, and a uh, land, it is a country. And the last part of this first lecture, a school, it is a school, a school, a book, a book, an answer, an answer, a answer, a name, a name, eine Karte, a map or a card, eine Regel, it is a rule, a rule, eine Lehrerin, a female teacher, ein Lehrer, a teacher, eine Frage, it is a question from the Frage Web formation. I think it was this part of the lecture, it was good. I, we will continue in the next, next lecture. We continue from the dust verb and I hope it will be great and thank you for paying attention.